Hello guys! Welcome back to All About Fire Protection Channel. This time we are going to discuss about the placement of duct smoke detector. But before we proceed with that, we are going to give you first the recap of what we had discussed before. There are general guidelines in placement of tax smoke detector. So the first step that we had to consider is we have to make sure that the smoke detector that we're going to consider in our design is a listed one. When we say a listed, it's either a UL listed or a BDS approved or LPCB. It depends on what is the applicable listing or the requirement of HJ. The second one is they shall be installed in accordance to manufacturer's recommendation. So what do we mean by that? Um, in designing a duct smoke detector guys we should always i mean we shall always um check the requirements from manufacturer first aside from what is the requirement from the standards or the nfa guidelines we also need to check what is the requirement from manufacturer the third one is to follow the minimum requirement as per nfa 90a based on air handling units capacity. So, this is actually, guys, the first step in designing a duct smoke detector. Because before we will consider duct smoke detector in our design or in a project, we need to make sure first if it's really required as per the code or standard. So, the standard for the requirement of duct smoke detector is NFA 90A. So before we consider any design for duct smoke detector, check first the requirement from NFA 90A. And our port uh, guideline is to follow the minimum requirements as per NFA 72. So this time, um, when we already um, check the requirements from manufacturer, then the second thing that we need to check in our design is to check the requirement from NEPA. So we will discuss, discuss it later. Then the last general guideline is the main function of duct smoke detector is to control or shut down the air handling units. So sometimes there are uh, confusions in our design. Sometimes designers um, think that duct smoke detector is required whenever we have an air handling unit, but it really depends if it meets the requirement from NEP 90A. And the main function of um, considering duct smoke detector in our design is to control the AHU. So we will discuss it also later. Okay, so in, in this uh, illustration guys, this is what um, the NEPA 90A states in their requirement. The first one is 
if the air handling units have a capacity of 2,000 CFM, duct detector shall be provided at the supply side, downstream of air filter, and ahead of any branches connections, branch connections. So, in this illustration, this is the outside air coming from the outside. So, this is where going to locate our duct detector after the fan. That's why you will see here, this is where the duct smoke detector is mounted after the filter. So remember guys, if our air handling units have a capacity of, has a capacity of 2000 CFM, then automatically we require duct smoke detector in the supply. Then the second requirement from NEP90A is if the air handling unit is more than 15,000 CFM, then we need also to um, provide a duct smoke detector, but this time from the return duct side or at each um, connection prior to recirc recirculation. So you will see in this illustration, this is the part of the return air system. So based on the requirement of NP90A, this duct smoke detector shall be provided in the common return. This is where the common return is. And the second one is what 90A says, there should be, there shall be a duct smoke detector mounted connect uh, mounted to each connection to common return so this is where we are going to mount our duct detector like let's say in this example in this level of the building above the ceiling this ceiling is used as an uh, air plenum so we need to install duct smoke detector here prior to its connection to common return then in the ground level where there is a ceiling and it's con um, it's ducted the return is ducted and tapped to the common air return so this is where we're going to install our duct smoke detector so this is what the requirement of NP 90A if your air handling unit is more than 15,000 CFM you need to provide duct smoke detector at the common return here and at each connection to um, common return and let's say for example um, you have a uh, there is an area in the building where it's, it's more compartmented so this wall are smoke rated if the duct penetrates this wall as per the requirement of NPA 72 duct smoke detector shall be provided in each penetration so in this illustration there is a penetration in this smoke rated wall and there is a penetration also in this smoke rated wall okay that's why what happened as per the requirement of NPA 72 Maybe there's a penetration from from the duct, air duct return. You need to provide at least one detector in each penetration. So that's why we need to provide duct detector here and over here in this uh, return duct. And also here because it penetrates this wall, the second duct, and the third ducting for the turn. So in total, we have three numbers of duct detector in this illustration. So aside from the requirement of placement of duct detector for supply and return, we also need to um, make sure that the numbers or the quantity of duct smoke detector is compliant with the requirements of NPA 72. 
Um, in this illustration, we have three scenario of HVAC duct. First one is your HVAC duct is less than 110 mm with size. If this is the uh, size of the HVAC duct width, then you need only to provide one number of duct vector and it can be placed in the middle. The second one, if your HVAC duct width is um, more than 910 mm up to 1.83 meters, then you have to provide two numbers of duct smoke detector. From left and right side, you have to maintain this dimension. One fourth of the width of the each back duct. So if the width of your each back duct, let's say, is one meter, then you have to maintain at least 250 meter uh, millimeters from left side and on the right side. And from the other side of the duct, or then you have to maintain half of the duct size. The third one is if the width of your each back duct is more than 1.83, then you have to provide minimum of three numbers, and you have to maintain this width from left and right, at least or maximum of 460 millimeters from the side, both side. That is maximum. And from the bottom one is it's the same with what we have here. It's half of this dimension, half of 910. So that's how we place our duct detector in HBAC duct. So that's it for today. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you so much for watching. If you have comments, suggestions, or reactions to our videos, kindly like and share. Okay, and don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section. Thank you so much. Bye.